First at four, taking drug dealers off the street. That's what Providence police say they have done. I'm Kim Kalunian. And I'm Kayla Fish. The bust is the result of an undercover operation spanning several months at Kennedy Plaza. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us now live from Providence Police Headquarters with the details. Matt. Providence Police Chief Oscar Perez says that police have arrested 19 individuals for the possession and sale of illicit drugs at the bustling Kennedy Plaza. We want to send a loud and clear message that illicit drug dealing is not acceptable. Operation Kennedy Plaza Sweep. Outstanding police work is what brought us here today. 19 arrests for possession and distribution of illegal narcotics. Six additional arrest warrants issued, all with the goal of getting drugs off of Providence City streets. These drug dealers are taking advantage of those who are struggling with substance use, use issues, and that behavior is not tolerated in Providence. Kind of out of control, you know. Those I spoke with today say Kennedy Plaza has been home to trouble for years, unfazed by the news of 25 people charged. The fact that it's the way it is is, quite frankly, it's, it's embarrassing. Literally seeing people shooting up into their neck in broad daylight. Kennedy Plaza, one of the city's main transportation hubs. Drugs are not wanted in this city, and now uh, people are getting sick and tired of seeing people doing bad things with drugs. A place students get onto the bus for school, located in the heart of the capital city. And former 8th Ward City Councilman Wilbur Jennings believes with continued efforts, it could be a tourist attraction and a place for local business to thrive. Give us some time. Give us some time. It's the beginning of, of cleaning things up so it will be the best tourist area in New England. Providence Mayor Brett Smiley says that increased foot patrols at Kennedy Plaza will continue moving forward. Live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.